YTBC. This is your boy coach Shelton Harrison and in this video I'm gonna take the time to deal with one Fanny Danny Jacobs and one Billy Joe Ho Saunders okay I'm gonna take the time to deal with that and I got the Billy Joe Ho Saunders I got that from 78 Sports TV <laughs> I thought it was kinda of funny but guys what I'm talking about this is not funny okay you know I'm sitting here and I'm just looking at video after video after video and people pretty much are consistent that Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs they want four and three million dollars respectively to fight Triple G and they said that's the only way that I'm gonna fight Triple G okay people as much as I hate to say this because I'm an advocate for fighter safety and health but this is the job that you signed up for okay you are a fighter and there is a chance that you may get hurt now on the flip end of that I think the promoter should definitely assist the fighters like Al Heyman is doing when these things happen okay I totally believe the promoters need to help these fighters as much as they can okay and that's just the way that is but this message this is a message for you Danny Jacobs and for you Billy Joe Saunders here's the message okay you two guys you're prize fighters okay you're prize fighters and you're fighting for a prize you see all of you guys you guys want that Floyd Mayweather Jr. money and that's it and I'm calling it out just the way it is you guys think that you can get that Floyd Mayweather money you guys don't have microphone skills you guys don't sell yourselves that way you're worried about getting injured in a fight okay and I totally get that but you're a prize fighter and if somebody say hey I got Gennady Golovkin right now when I get in the ring with you then you say yes you get off your ass you take the deal you take the lumps you take what they give you you get in that ring and you prove that you're worth 10 million dollars a fight you prove that you're worth 20 million dollars a fight but you you're sitting around you and Danny Jacobs, Billy Joe Saunders, you're sitting there, you're afraid, you're, you're scared to get off your ass and believe in your skill set and go beat Gennady Golovkin. People, that's just the way that is. You see, you two guys, you are a disgrace to boxing. You don't want to fight Triple G because you told every single person in the YTBC that you are afraid. And any of you fanboys, don't come on here making an excuse saying, well, Danny Jacobs did this, or if Billy Joe Saunders can't fight him, and you give Billy Joe Saunders a way out. No, neither one of these two guys, they don't get a way out. The only road at 160 is to one Janati Golovkin, and that's just the way that is. Why can't you guys step up to the plate like Canelo? Canelo already said, I want Triple G at 160. You see Danny Jacobs? You see Billy Joe John, uh, Saunders? That's what you need to be in a champion. You two guys, you're scared, you're effeminate, you're bitch-made dudes. Both of you. Canelo Alvarez running around here talking about I want to fight Triple G at 160 because of my legacy. And you two guys won't even get in the ring with him. Don't try to sit here and tell me that, it's, that, that, that you need, you'll fight for the money. You'll fight it for $3 million and $4 million. Don't get in here. You take what they give you. You beat Triple G and you become the star at 160. And then you can start demanding the big payday purses. You guys kill me, you win a damn building, and now you think you done a ride. You guys ain't a ride nowhere. You two guys are what boxing is not about. You look at Canelo, what is he doing? You look at Iris Landy Laura, they're calling these guys out. And Triple G, I'm not letting you off the hook either. Because you won't fight Laura, you didn't dare to be great to fight war, you won't fight the fights. They're tough fights. And Triple G, I know you'll get in the ring with Billy Joe Saunders. I know you'll get in the ring with the Peter Quillen. I know that you will get into the ring with the Danny Jacobs, Triple G. We know this. We can't get around this. But over your head, Triple G, you will always have a fan saying, why did you never fight Ward? 
Billy Joe Saunders. Okay, Danny Jacobs, you will always have looming over your head. Why did you duck Janati Golovkin? You ducked a man. Both of the fights are 60-40 fights. I favor Golovkin to win these fights. But dang it, you got to get in there and you got to test your skill set. You're a damn fighter for God's sake. That's what you do. That's your job. You are a fighter. People, I don't know what else to say to you guys. Because you guys are ridiculous. You guys are ridiculous. You don't want to take the tough fights because you scared you're going to get hurt. Well, join everybody in the sport of boxing. You join everybody in boxing because everybody knows that there's that sense of you could get your ass hurt. But Danny Jacobs and Billy Joe Saunders, you guys, you guys don't want to dare to be great. You guys don't want to dare to be great. Man. You guys don't want it that bad. See, you guys don't have that thought process like an Iris Landy Laura. Laura daring to be great. Laura sitting here calling out Triple G every chance he get, and they don't want to fight him. Canelo saying, look, damn the 155 catch weight. I want to fight Triple G where he lives at. I want to beat Triple G, and I want to form my own legacy. I want to be the biggest star in the sport of boxing. Canelo is driven by legacy, and he also wants to be a bigger star than Floyd Mayweather ever was. Those are tall, that's a tall order to prescribe, but at least Canelo got the testicles to do what you guys won't do. At least Laura got the testicles to get in the ring. You know, Laura got testicles. He jumped on the stage. Canelo is a dangerous fighter, but Laura wanted that fight. See, everybody's saying that, that, that Laura is a dangerous fight for Canelo. It was vice versa. It was the same thing. It was both a dangerous fight. But both of those two men, they stepped up. And I'm going to always ride with Laura. I'm going to always ride with Canelo. I'm going to always ride with them guys because they're doing what a lot of you, you guys won't do. What a lot of you guys won't do. You guys are ducking Triple G and you know it. And Triple G, you're ducking Ward and you know it. And, let's not, and we can say, ooh, well, look at all the people that Ward ducked James DeGale. Hey, it's already been set in stone. You can research this on your own. Andre Ward is going to fight Sergey Kovalev because these guys are daring to be great. You're a dang on fighter and you don't want to fight somebody. And you think that you've done a ride and you deserve a big payday. But you ain't done nothing to get that payday. Nobody trying to hear this. So what, Danny Jacobs? You knocked out Peter Quillen. Okay, you knocked out Peter Quillen. Now dare to be great. Become a star. Beat Triple G. So what, Billy Joe Saunders? Okay, you beat Andy Lee. Hey, and you know what? I'm going to tell you why I wanted Andy Lee to win that fight. Because I knew Andy Lee would have had the guts to get in the ring with Triple G. I knew Andy Lee would have the guts to get in the ring with Triple G. I knew he would. That's why I pulled for Andy Lee. And I told y'all this. Andy Lee got more heart than you, Billy Joe Saunders. Than you, Danny Jacobs. Than you, Triple G. Andy Lee got more heart than you three guys. Because you guys don't want to dare to be great. Y'all got the skill sets to be greater than almost any fighter at 160. You three guys. But y'all don't want to step up on your game because you are afraid. You are afraid to lose. You are afraid to dare to be great. Because the pressure is too great on you guys. And you guys can't handle that kind of pressure. What if you lose? Or what if you win? This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.